I am delighted to be back in New York City and to see so many old friends uh, from Capitol Hill. This is my 10th uh, transit stop in a U.S. city in the past three years. And New York has always had a special place in my heart. Uh, it is uh, where I first experienced American uh, uh, democracy setting me on the path to a lifetime of public service. And I'm sure all of you, you know a thing or two about a commitment to public service. For years, uh, uh, you have worked tirelessly to bring our countries closer together and establish a stronger legal foundation for our enduring partnership. Building on the framework laid down by the TRA drafters 40 years ago, you have passed major laws and regulations that are setting new milestones in Taiwan-US relations. Here, I want to especially uh, mention Chairman Angle and Ranking Member McCall. Your leadership was crucial to the passage of the Taiwan Assurance Act on the House floor this year and the enactment of the Taiwan Trouble Act last year. And your support for resolution backing our international participation has made you quite popular in Taiwan. Uh, just a few days ago, the U.S. government approved a new U.S. dollar $2 billion arms uh, sales uh, package uh, to Taiwan, and I want to thank you all for your robust support for Taiwan's uh, security. Uh, together, we are achieving the vision of a free and open Indo-Pacific. On behalf of the people and government of Taiwan, I want to thank you all for your unwavering support. And I look forward to working even more closely with all of you to strengthen our partnership and look towards a brighter future together. I invite you to join me for a toast uh, to freedom, democracy, and our enduring future.